Hello and welcome back to an Empower Service tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll be shown how to install Forge and upload mods to your server. First, we need to install Forge, so we need to go to empowerservice.com, click the control panel in the top right, press manage server, and then go to configuration and advanced. And here we can find the server installer. Click on the addition drop down and choose Forge. And then click on the version drop down and choose whatever version you'd like. I'm going to choose 1.15.2 recommended as this is the most stable version of Forge currently out. Next, I'm going to check the format server box. However, if you do not want to lose your files, don't check this box. And then we need to press install addition. Then you'll see server installing and you need to wait until the page refreshes. When the page refreshes, this means your server has finished installing Forge. And the server has finished installing. Now, just make sure that in your startup parameters, your starting jar file is server.jar and then you're good to go. You can go to system, console and press start. When you get a pop-up about accepting the EULA, make sure you press I accept and then OK. Next, we need to install Forge on our client. So we need to go to files.minecraftforge.net and then choose the version of Minecraft Forge that we want to install. I installed 1.15.2 on my server so I'm going to install Forge 1.15.2. I'm going to click download recommended and then installer. From here, you need to press the skip button in the top right of your screen and then press save. Now open that jar file. And when it opens, you need to install client. So just press OK. Once client side Forge is successfully installed, you'll get this box and you just need to press OK. And then Forge has successfully installed on your computer. Now we're going to install a mod. The mod that I'm going to install is called Storage Drawers and it looks like this. However, you can install any mod that you'd like. So once I'm on the mod page, I'm going to scroll down to the side and I'm going to install Minecraft 1.15 since that is the version of Forge I've installed. I'm going to click download and then your download will begin in five seconds. This box will pop up. I've just got to press save. Now we need to go back to control.empowerservice.com and then upload the mod. So we need to go to management, file management, go into the mods folder on your server and then press upload on the left. And then from your files, choose the storage drawers mod or any mod that you've chosen to install and then press open. Once you see the bar go green and the page will refresh, it has uploaded. Now we need to install the mod to our client. So we need to find our .minecraft folder. To do this on Windows, you press Windows key and R, and then in the box that pops up, type percent app data percent, then press OK. From there, we can click our .minecraft folder and then head to our mods folder, which for me is empty. And then you need to drag in the mod that you installed earlier. For me, that's storage drawers. And I'm just gonna drag it in and move it to mods. And now it's been successfully installed on my client. If you do not see a mods folder like I do, you need to create a new folder called mods or lowercase, and that will also work. To make sure the server notices the mod, we have to restart our server. So I'm gonna head to system, console, and then press restart on my server. When you see that the server is marked as on, that means you can connect to it. So I'm going to open my Minecraft launcher, choose the forge profile that the forge installer should have created, and then press play. Once Minecraft's open, you're going to head to multiplayer and just connect to your server. And as you can see, we've correctly installed a mod to our server. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.